back in the building. Yeah. All right, man. So what's going on, man? So what? Um, we we just gonna jump right into it, man. Uh, so you you had a a, a trainee, right? Right. And and he didn't stick around for long. What 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 happened, my G? I wasn't as tight. <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> oh, you must you you must not, man. So I mean, well, from from start to finish, man. Uh, when when did you link up with him? All right, so I, I picked him up. Um, I picked him up on uh, what was it Thursday? I think it was. It was the seventh. Okay. I think it was the seventh. So, but before that, we were talking, you know, on the text. You know, I knew I was getting him. My other student failed the drug test. We talked about, remember? So okay. he didn't, he didn't, he didn't qualify. So I was waiting for a secondary. Right. So the first, the sec- yeah, the first one didn't qualify because of the because of the weed every day. Uh, yeah. But this one right here, you 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 picked up. So y'all testing back and forth. What's what's going on in the text? Like what? Yeah. So everything. I mean, everything's cool. He's like, thank you for the opportunity. Blah blah. blah. I was like, yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, he's going a little overboard with that. But you okay. know, it's, it's you know. So I'm like, all right, cool. He's being cool, you know. He's being respectful. And then, uh, but he keeps asking me. He's like, yo, you know, I'm I'm going out with you for three weeks, and I'm going out with my uncle for one. That that already threw me a flag. Like, what the hell is he talking about? Because like, okay. I, I take it from okay. So wait, 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 wait. Wait. So his 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 uncle worked for the company. It, it, that's what yeah, he's... yeah. That's what he's saying. But uh, apparently, when I asked him what his uncle's last name was, he had to go figure it out because he didn't know. So I don't know if he's really his uncle. Okay. Like, I think it's yeah, it's so why? Shit. So yeah, if you gotta figure out what your fucking uncle's last name is, bro, then yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, not your yeah. uncle. That's they, 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 don't don't yeah. come don't come with don't don't come with that. That that probably might be a, like a best friend, like you know we call him uncle or something like that. But my uncle, I know my uncle's last name is my mom's brother. How yeah, you yeah. how you gonna how, how you gonna not know your 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 mother or or your father's Sibling, ain't that That's, some shit? Yeah, he's talking. Yeah, yeah. You know, he said, "Oh, my uncle's name. I'm not gonna mention names, but he's like, uh, you know, we'll say, you know, so and so." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's like, "You know, I said to so. him, I was like, oh, I know, I know a so and so.' And okay. His last name, bitch. And he's like, "Oh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I have to look, I have to find out." Okay, I was like, that's right, that's what, that's, what, a, that, that's yeah, that's that's a red flag right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, "All right, this dude, fucking." Sorry, to mean curse, but no, dude didn't, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. That's one thing. So okay. he's probably just a friend or whatever. He's just saying this is awful. But anyways, long story short, then he's like, I'm going out with you for three weeks. I'm going out for with him for one week. And I'm like, all right, well, now this kid's laying down the rules. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or how it works. You know, I've been doing this shit for this company for six years almost. It's like four, almost, almost six years. It's like five and a half for this okay. company. Okay. You know, and then and then uh, so I'm like, all right, whatever, bro. I was like, if they allow that, then so be it. You know, what I mean, I don't care as long as I get my bonus for training. You know, I don't give a shit. You know? Right, right. So then, yeah, yeah. So whatever, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, bro. You know. So when I when I talked to the, I addressed that to the office. I said, yo, this kid thinks he's going out with me for three weeks, and one with his uncle, so called. You know, he said his name is this, and I was like, the only person I know that does a local in this area is they, you know, this dude. Last name this, you know. He's like, yeah, it's correct. I was like, all right, cool. Well, okay. So you had to call. So you had to call in and get all that straight. So well, I, I, I no, 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 no. That was, they said that they had no idea about what the hell this kid's talking about. And I was like, well, that's what this kid thinks. They said that you guys confirmed it. He's like, I was like, is this guy even a, a trainer or a teacher? And he goes, no, he's not even registered as a trainer. I was like, so how the hell is he going to train this kid? <laughs> right. Okay. So <laughs> then. So, but do you guys, but but do you guys do have local trainers there though that do train locally? Well, technically, you got to be over the road to train. There is, there are some local routes that they're not really local. You they come home every day. Okay. But they're not local because if you go over 172 mile radius, it's not considered local. Oh, okay. Some people don't. Yeah, some people don't know the hours of service correctly, but uh. Yeah, once you drive over 172 hours, you're no longer local, but he does come home daily, so it's a daily job. Oh, okay, but, okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, so he's te- you know, technically he comes home every day, but, you know, he's not considered local, but he's a friend of mine, you know what I mean? All right, so back to the kid. Y'all, y'all, okay, so y'all, 
y'all y'all in the truck y'all y- no, you know y'all I didn't, get, I, I didn't even get into the truck you asked me when so before you i even picked him up i said he's a you know he calls me every day and he goes you know uh what time i should be there and i'm like this time he's like what should i bring i was like pack light because you're getting out of my truck before we you don't want to bring a whole entourage of crap you right. know, and i have to take it out right so then he goes so we're coming home every day right and i go no <laughs> He goes, what about the weekends? Are you going to be home on the weekends? I said, dude, I live in New York City, bro. You ain't seen your home. They asked me, when are we going to go home? Everything was about going home. You know what I mean? So I'm like, this kid, this kid's tripping, bro. I was like, I was like, dude, I'm, I live in New York City, bro. Like, when I go out, I, I'm already not home. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, I'm not coming back to the terminal of Salt Lake City. That's what you're asking me. I go out and I go to the East Coast. I go everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, he's like, you think we're going to go to New York City? I was like, it's a possible possibility. So he's already, I was like, I was like, yo, listen, if there's, if there's an issue where you happen to be home, like, let me know. I get you somebody else. I said that. You right. know what I mean? Right. And, he, and he's like, uh, no, no, it'll, it'll be okay. And I was like, all right, dude, no put out. All right. So he he's asking questions already about home. So right that's then, then that's a, that's another that's another red flag in itself, man. Because if you constantly asking me if we're gonna get home every week, if we're gonna get home daily. That's telling me that that's telling me already that you you're not built for this. That's what I said to myself, but I, I didn't even bring that up to him yet, you know, so you know, some people gotta get conditioned. You know, people are asking me, you know, do I come home? I do this a lot. I'm an experienced trainer. You know? I mean I, I you know, I deal with all types of people. They go, Hey, you know, we come home and usually they leave it at that. Mm-hmm. But the, the the thing that's the flag is that he kept harping on it. You know what I mean? So like every other fucking question was you know, when you think we're going to come home, you know, like all this other stuff. So then, I, you know, I, I meet him at the office. I go into orientation class because I help with I help with the orientation sometimes when I'm in the office. So, like, right. I'll give him a dream point of view right. in the classroom and, like, you know, explain to him what they have, some, you know, what they have in store for them with all the trainers and what they, you know, what they should bring and whatever, you know. Right, right. So he's listening, and he goes, so so when you think we're going to be coming home, he said he's in the freaking hall, in the school, in the, in the class in front of the other teacher. I'm like, yo, dude, when I go out, I go out, bro. Like, I'm a soldier. I go out, you know, I live off the road, I live off the street, but, I, you know, the freaking parking lot's my, my, my house. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, right. I don't have to tell you, bro. Like, we ain't going home, bro. You know? At, so that, at least not for a month anyway. Yeah, so I did a quick parking class with the all the kids. I had, like, six, seven kids. I did a parking class showing them, you know, how to use your tandems. You don't use the back of the truck. Mm-hmm. All your tandem, you know, whatever, basic stuff. So now I'm like, yo, you ready? Because we're going to go, you know? So so we started going. We did a little trip, and then we went and did this other trip real quick, you know? And then so, I was like, all right, we're going to so go. So wait, I wait, don't. wait. So he, you you actually got him on the truck? No, I got him on the truck. Yeah, yeah, we got him on the truck. He, he's cool with it, you know what I mean? All right, so, so I, y'all, so well, y'all, went out for, y'all, y'all went out for a couple of trips. Well, he asked me where I was going. I said, we're going to go to Reno. We're going to come back. And then okay. we're going to go to Reno again, and we're going to come back. Okay. So we went to we went to Reno real quick, came back. Okay. And then I'm like, you know, we're going to go out again. We'll be back again. You know, we're coming through here. But then after that, we're leaving. leaving. So we're going to go to Alabama. I showed you that trip, remember? Right. I posted that trip. I said, this is my own trip from Reno right. to Alabama. Right. Okay, so so he's like, oh, okay. So we were on our second trip to, to, to Reno. And this kid goes, man, I, I think, did you sleep? Did you get good sleep? He goes, yeah, I slept okay. He goes, I had a lot of anxiety last night. And I said, well, from what? From what? You know? Okay. Yeah, he goes, I'm, I'm just tripping. My anxiety is getting to me and shit. And I'm, I'll be all right. I was like, well, what happened? He goes, oh, I've never been away from home for so long. I said, oh what? Oh, my God. Like, I'm not even 48 hours, bro. Like, you're tripping. But like, I, I said that inside. I didn't even get it like that. And I was like, well, listen, dude. I was like, you know, after doing this for about a year, you'll find out if this is what you want to do. You know right. what I mean? Because over the road is a whole different ballgame. You know what I mean? It sure I, is. And that's all I said, bro. You know, I was like, yo, dude, I was like, when you get a year under your belt, you'll, you'll know if this is what you can do. It makes you break drivers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can get a local gig or whatever, you know what I mean? But going over the road is, you know, it'll make and break you. You find out what kind of person you are so within how, a year. How old was this kid? He, he, couldn't, he, he couldn't have been old. Yeah, you got to take a guess, and I'll tell you if you're right. Guys, uh, he, he had to be young, man, about 25, 26. It's pretty close, bro. 28, bro. <laughs> 20, 28? 28. 28? 
Yeah, he's young, but he's not that no, young. No, 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 no. In in trucking years, that's not young. I mean, that's that trucking years is like 20, 22, 25. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, yo, so, 20, so yeah, man, you close to you close to 30, bro. And you over here talking about you got you 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 homesick? Yeah, it's crazy. Bro. So so what? He's homesick. What? Is he married? Is he married? Kids? He's got, yeah, he's got a girl and a kid. You know what I mean? Like, okay, see, that's that's what's that's 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 what's up, man. But still, though, 28 and anxiety, man. That's not it. You know, the, well, get, apparently, apparently, I you know, like, I hear that. And I don't know the whole story, but I hear that she was working, and now they're switching roles because she wasn't doing shit. And now he's he's working, and she's going to be sitting home. So they're switching roles. So I don't really know, like, I don't know his personal life. I don't really care about his personal life. That's okay, true. so and if he's be- if 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 they switching if they switching roles, if they he's switching if they switching roles, man, then he got to. He he got to step up. He he went to school for his license. He knew he knew what he was getting into, bro. So how? But you know what he thought though? He thought he was gonna get. He thought he was gonna get him a local uh a local type local type gig. But I I guess I guess the jokes well, on him. You can't get a local with us unless you have it over the road first. They won't give it to you unless you have the experience. Right, but see, he thought he was gonna. He thought he was gonna get home every week and all like that. But again, the jokes on him. Where where he's from? Where you you say you Only from? Thing. You say you from New York. So where he's from? He's from Salt Lake. I'm based out of Salt Lake. Okay, so he's thinking, being that uh, that night is in Salt Lake City. He's thinking he's going to get him a a cushy regional route, you know, the, the, you know, back up and then back it back to re, back to uh back yeah, to Salt like Lake. Daily, That's what he thought. Daily, daily, every other day, whatever see, the hell. And, and see, he might get it if he puts in the time. You know what right. I mean? Like, but you, you don't put the time, and you ain't getting nothing, bro. Right. You know? See, and that hey. and that coming from. Maybe, maybe that's coming from the 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 recruiter, man. Maybe the recruiter kind of like talked uh-huh. him, kind of like talked. Oh, you don't think so? Nah, if he say he's gonna go over the road, that's why I laugh. Okay, 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 okay. He's like, I'm, I, he goes, I'm going to so I'm gonna do the SoCal dedicated, which is basically going to California and back. You know what I mean? So okay, so that's what he must have, even though. But he didn't know. In order to train, he had to go out for. As many as many weeks as he did, right? I'm assuming so. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Uh, right I, so I, 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 a, whole, a whole bunch of things led into this. I had to kind of do my homework before, so mm-hmm. I'm giving you a little bit more information than I even had at the time. Cause I, you know, I, okay. I was just, I was just trying to, you know, I'm just listening to the kid. I don't know, like, there's an issue yet. You know what I mean? Right. You feel me? So, like, I just hear, you know, and I've had people act like that. You know, what I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. The kid's very. Very like uh, he keeps it very concealed. You know what I mean? Like so, mm-hmm. like I didn't see that there was a, a an issue that it was until it happened. You know what I mean? So, but like, you know, there was there. You, you know, I you know, I I. I just by listening to the just by listening to the story, I'm I, I'm already hearing red flags all 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 the way around on this. All right, so y'all, so you you do the second trip, and and y'all made it back to y'all made it back to Salt Lake City. What yeah, happened? What way- happened after that? No, no, the, we were already on our. We were on our way back to Reno. Oh, back to the Reno. Second, the second, no, no, we went. To, we did the first trip there and back. And now we're going back again. All so, right, so y'all going back to Reno? Okay. Again, real quick before I go to Alabama, because that 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 trip takes me to Alabama. So okay. That's when he said I had a lot of anxiety, and I'm like, all right, from what? And he told me the bomb, and I'm like, all right, cool. This kid's you know kind of weak. Right. You know what I mean? There's no one else to say. He's weak-minded a little bit, you know? So I'm like, all right, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not knocking him. Whatever, you know what I mean? Okay. So so I still got a job to do, bro. You know what I mean? So, like, I listen to you and shit, but I still got to teach you. So when you make a mistake, I got to school you, bro. You know what I mean? So, like, right. on the way there, you, you know, we're heavy as hell. We weren't heavy like that before on the way on the way back. Bro. You know, he hasn't had a load this heavy. We're like mm-hmm. 44,000 pounds. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so we're going down these mountains and shit. I'm like, yo, put the Jake on, like, and drop that shit. You know what I mean? Like, before you get to speed. And what does he do? He starts doing his little baby shit, one notch, two notch, two notch, three notch. And he's starting to fucking go fast. I'm like, yo, dude, you need to drop that shit like I told you, bro. Like, drop it all the way down, engage it all the way. 
take it off as you don't need it. You know what I mean? Right. I guess she's it's pissing them off. So now like the kids like it's like 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 counter testing me and shit. Like well, that's not the way they say it in school. I was like, yo, dude, take that shit, throw out the fucking window, bro. Please, bro. Don't right. bring your fucking don't bring your school shit. <laughs> Your fucking parking lot track bullshit into the real world, bro. Like, I was like, when I say something, just do it, bro. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, you know, I don't like that like that, but I can see, like, once they start talking that school shit, like, it's the Holy Bible, like, well, it says here in page 23, bro, shut the fuck up. Well, you know what? You know right what there, you know, when I, when I went out, when I went out, that's, that's what my trainer, you know, like I said, me and my trainer, we didn't get along with each other, but... He told me right off the rip, like, yo, everything you learned in school, my G, throw that shit out the window. <laughs> because yeah. it's it's not gonna it's it's not gonna be kosher. It's not gonna be kosher. Yeah. So you say he he coming at you with the with the book smarts and shit. So when did yeah. it so when did it go left, man? I I wanna hear when you got when, when y'all guys got back and and, and and you got you got hemmed up with, with safety after that. What when did it start getting left, bro? Well, well, on the way back, I realized it was going left because, like, this, like, he did the same thing again, and he's speeding, right? Mm -hmm. he's, he's, it's a fifty-five construction zone. He's doing almost seventy. Right? So I'm like, yo, dude. Okay. I go, yo, dude. I, you need to drop that Jake. I don't know how many times I got to tell you, bro. Right? And he goes, "Well, I hit it." He goes, "I said, I said take the Jake off and put it back on and engage it full force because it, 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 it's it, you're like half-assing it. You got to drop that shit, and hold it." Otherwise, the truck's going to be trying to baby it in, and, and you don't need that because you're gaining speed. We're heavy. You know what I mean? Right. And he goes, uh, he goes, well, I'm already speeding, and I'm not going to go any faster for you. I said, excuse me? I said, I said, yo, dude, this is the problem, bro. I go, I said, the problem is you don't listen to me, bro, because if you would have listened to me, I said, if you, I said, if you wouldn't have, if you would have listened to me, you wouldn't be going over 55 to begin with, motherfucker. So you're already speeding, bro. So you're not you're not doing me a you're not doing me a favor, bro. You're already you're already flying, bro. You're fucking flying. Who gives a shit, yo? One mile over the speed limit, you're in trouble, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if you technically think about it, so since you're already fucking speeding, take it off and drop it like I fucking told you, bro. And he fucking does it, and the truck starts slowing down. I was like, all right, cool, you know, okay. whatever. I don't so how 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 far how far are you all away now? Because sound like the it sounds like the marriage is sour right now, bro. Well, yeah, kind of. I just, dude, I've had issues with students before. It's just, still, it's not nothing out of the ordinary. Sometimes you got to put put them in their place. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But other kids, other kids accept it. They're like, all right, cool. You know, I really don't know my shit. This kid thinks like, oh, I went to school. I'm a fucking I'm a fucking college educator. Educated fucking truck driver now, whatever the fuck he is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't know shit, bro. You don't know shit until you have two years on the abound. You survive two winters, and you drove every fucking day of that fucking year, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it takes time, bro. You know what I mean? Like, so, whatever. But anyways, long story short, I get to the office, and I'm like, yo, listen. And, I, and this is my idea, because we could just kept driving. I go, yo, dude, we're about to go and not be back. I know you care about your chick. Call your girl up. I told her in the morning. I said, call your girl up. We're going to stop at Salt Lake City. I got to take a shower. You go chill with your girl for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Come back. Take your time. And fucking when we go, we're out. There He's like, all go. right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Trying to be cool. So then I get to, I, you know, we get to Salt Lake City. I'm grabbing my shit. I go, yo, you good? And he goes, yeah. I was like, I'm just going to grab some stuff. He goes, I'll, I'll be out. I was like, well, here, take your extra key. Okay. Hold it. Well, I, I helped him park for about 10 minutes. I went over some parking lot. Everything was cool. He's listening to me and everything, whatever, you know? Right. So I get my key. I give it to him with my extra key. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go take a shower. Let me know when you're ready to come back and bounce. You know what I mean? He's like, all right, cool, cool. So I go take a shower. I get dressed. And I go into the office because that's normally where I work. So I walk into the office office. And the, the new DDM, he's probably three weeks in or whatever. You know, he's not. He's, he's, he's fresh, fresh. I don't, so I don't this, really know. So this is the new safety director that's coming into play. He's from Colorado. Yeah, yeah. he got transferred over here because we're he lost the safety director, so now he got this guy. Okay. So um, so he's new. He's got his own ways. Every terminal is ran a little differently. So mine's, you know, my terminal is not ran as a, as a, you know, a corporate entity. It's ran as an individual entity, even though it is corporate. Does that make sense? Right. right. So, so everyone's got their own way. Like, I've seen other terminals treat drivers like shit. Our terminal never does. Okay. They're usually very, very good. That's why I like where I work. 
You know what I mean? Okay. So, so let's let's yeah. Let's, so I go in the office. I'm like, yo, what's going on? He goes, and he's just looking at you. He goes, hey, we took your guy off the truck. Uh, he'll be going with a local driver. So I was like, yo, you you talking to me, bro? <laughs> you know, he's like, I'm not sure they're on a the headset. You know, because I'm like the only tra- trainer that's in the office. I'm like, you talking to me? He goes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, when the fuck did that happen? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when the hell is this going down? Mm-hmm. I was like, why'd you take him off the, the truck? He goes, well, he. He said that you guys aren't a good fit. I said, I'm not a good fit. What the fuck are you talking about? Because, like, what did I do? I don't even know what the hell I did. Like, I'm not even understanding it. He won't even talk to me, yo. Right? So I'm like, yo, dude. I was like, what the hell's going on here, bro? I was like, he's like, don't worry about it. You know, he wants you to get off your truck. You need to get off the truck. I was like, I was like, yo, dude, I just gave him my key. He goes, yeah, he gave me the keys. I was like, yo. I was like, hold up, bro. I was like, I just taught him for about 10 minutes on how to park. He acted like everything was cool. He said, mm-hmm. he was see his girl, blah, blah. It seems like you guys already knew this was going down. Like, he's been texting you or some shit. And no. that's what was going down. Yeah, they did. They knew about it. They didn't say nothing to me. So oh, I just didn't want to go. so he was, he, he was, he was, uh, Why? he Why? was, he was slash shitting in the background. Yeah, he's being, he's playing, he's playing sweet. Like, everything's cool. And I'm oh, like, yo, dude, ain't that about a bitch. So he, he, yeah, he like, slash, so he slash shitting in the background telling them, like, oh, well, you know, me, I don't think me and this dude gonna be a good fit, so we're on our way back to Reno. And when I get there, I don't want to go back out. But at the same time, in front, in, in, like in your cool. in your face, acting everything is cool and shit. He's a cow. He's a coward, bro. He's got no. So no I guess back. he was like, I guess he was like, if he didn't, if you know, I guess he tried to keep his cool. Now listen, I, I could probably understand. Why he did that? Because I I, I, know, I know you I know you wouldn't do it, but other motherfuckers.